Good evening guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the new way to park cactus and we're going to be exploring different options that could be it. So when Caleb announced this this morning in the news that planned future updates included the new way to park cactus, it sparked a lot of conversation in terms of what could it be. So I created this like little poll on YouTube to ask you guys what you think and I've added like five options among what I think could potentially be it. So the first one is accessory slots. So the idea is just like we have character link slots, we could have link slots on the accessory slots. And by powering up these guys, you'd be able to get more stats from a given accessory. So that would be one way to really increase the um, well stat gain on a character. And obviously from a, from a company perspective, it's better because it stays tied to the character. So you'd need to grind this on a per character basis because Kayla would never do on an accessory basis. Now the next one, which is well, which seems to be the most popular at the moment is the seven stars. So seven stars has been, you know, in uh, everyone's mind for a while now, uh, back when we had like a new way to power up, people thought about it. So the only issue that I have with this one is just like you have six stars and you needed to have like a max five star to be able to evolve to six star. Problem is after this, you have the resurrection system where, so you have the well level 200, then you have resurrection. And after resurrection, this is where seven stars would be. Because the problem is if you just have seven stars out of the bat like this, what would happen to resurrection units? So would only the resurrection units be eligible to become seven stars and the new ones as well, or how would this work? So it might be a bit tricky. I'm not too sure, let me know in the comments below, how would you see this happening in game? Or it could be just like another way. Uh, so you can just like increase the rarity of the character from six stars to seven stars and get a flat uh, stat updates. Another one is Soul Trait Reinforcement. So just like we have Soul Trait at the moment, there could be a way to just like reinforce it by a few percentages and make your character stronger. So that would be interesting to reinforce characters that you would use as links as well as main characters for extra links. Another one is the extra skill unlocking in Soul Tree and that one I'm gonna develop it a little bit further uh, well, in a minute. And then the last one that I suggested was Skin Inheritance via Character Bond Slots. So this would be like a third type of um, thing. So we have, you know, like the character, the the links, character links, then we have the accessory uh, slots, and then we could have some bone slots. So that would be like a third section. And the idea is like in this section, by pouring up the slots there, you might be like to a certain level, you would be able to unlock some skills from the linked character. And you could choose which skills you want to inherit. So you can inherit, for example, extra bruiser, berserker, havoc, you could uh, do like the um, immunity skills, whatever you want, for example, or maybe it could be kept. I don't know, but this is an idea. The last one is, and you're gonna see my beautiful drawing. This is the last one. So it would be like a third button here. That would be, you have like soul tree, you'd have uh, um, talent tree, this is why I call it. So soul tree, talent tree, and augment. So once you, completed your soul tree to 150. And once you have, say, at least one, um, well, one transcendent slot at level 10, because obviously if Caleb does it only on five of five max transcendent units, it would be completely unfair for free to play players. So imagine if you would have to just have one transcendent slots at level 10 and the unit at 10, 10, 10 to unlock like the third option, which would be the talent tree. And you would have like a completely separate soul tree for this one, which would be for talent. And you would be, you would have like a bunch of unlockable uh, nodes and you would have to use materials like the um, the droplets, which is what we've had like this new droplet unit trend. You would need to use a bunch of droplets as well as a new type of material. And that would get, get you like a uh, boost in stats, so stat boost increase, and also potentially some new skills. And eventually you would be able to gear your character in a way or another. So for example, you could choose to go in one, one direction or another one to unlock one skill or another skill and you would have to make a decision on this. So basically like two people with the same character could have two characters built differently with like different talent or specializations in a sense. So this is it. This is my thoughts on the new power-up system. These are the different 
options that I uh, that I see potentially coming to the game. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think about it, what you guys think about the different options, and if you have any other option or yeah, let's just like have a conversation about it. I'm really excited about this new system. So let's see what it is, and I'll see you next time. Tschüss.